this with you, Mr. Blank? Um, this is Gary. I'm Gary Keenan. I'll be standby for Mr. Blank. And what's your relation uh, here? Um, I've had some experience with court procedures, and Mr. Blank asked for my assistance if you need. Well, I don't, I don't have any. So no appearance was filed, uh, no motion or appearance was filed that I know of. Well, I mean, there are rules for how you have somebody represent you. Uh, so like, <clears throat> you usually need to have some background about the person who's going to be assisting you. So um, I guess that's the concern. You know, we don't know anything about this gentleman. Well, I don't plan on having him represent me. Um, like you said, just stand by counsel. Um, I plan on asking all questions myself. Uh, if you want to sit there at the table, you're welcome to, sir. But I, I don't think you're going to be able to participate in this hearing. I can hear it. Okay. So uh, both of you are welcome to have a seat there. <coughs> are you all set to proceed then? Uh, all set, Ron. Okay. So he calls Officer George Zanakis. Stating your full name and spelling your last name, please. So, Officer George, I've got this last spelled X E N A K S. Go ahead, sorry. And how are you employed? The Peterborough Police Department. And how long have you been so employed? <clears throat> two years. Okay, and how long have you been a police officer? State in Hampshire, just over four years. Okay, give you a brief recitation of your education, training, experience <laughs> as it relates to law enforcement. Attend the New Hampshire 260th Part Time Academy, the 158th Full Time Academy. Uh, taken numerous months of courses and trainings after which when I've been employed. Okay, encompassed within that training was the training on more vehicle. Yeah. Awesome. And enforcement? Yes. Okay. In the Part Time Academy, did you, were you trained on the use of radar? I was. Okay. And were you certified? Part Time and then the Full Time Academy. Okay, so you've been certified two different occasions? I have. Okay. Uh, thinking back to May 26th, uh, 20, 2014, uh, <coughs> approximately 1.30, 1 1.39 1 in the uh, evening in the morning, uh, were you work for Peterborough PD? I was. Were you in uniform? I was. Were you in a mock cruiser? Yes, I was. Um, okay. At about that time, anything out of the ordinary happened? I was conducting stationary radar. Wilton Road, just east of Granite, by the pull up. Okay, what road is that? That's Route 101 in Peterborough. Okay, also known as? Wilton Road. Okay. We ask the uh, court to take notice. You should notice that uh, Route 101 also known as Wilton Road is away. Before you start your shifts, are you running radar, you said? That's correct. Okay, what do you do? Is there anything you do as a normal course of conduct before your shift, during your shift? There is. Regards the radar? There is. What is that? It's to check the radar. Well, and how do, you, how do you do that? Internally and using the tuning forks. It's provided in each group. Okay. And did you do that in this evening? I did. Okay. And how was the radar working? It was functioning normally and properly. Okay. And which, uh, which radar were you using? It was 1A. So that would be which car? Cruising number 1. Okay. All right. So taking you back to about that time, what happened? I was uh, conducting stationary radar. I uh, noticed a vehicle traveling uh, westbound on 101. Okay, and, and how do you know that's speed? Uh, by my radar. Okay, and did you have clear tone? Clear tone, clear audio, clear visual. Was there, was there any other vehicles in the east side picture of the radar? No, it wasn't. Okay, so obviously late at night. It wasn't. Not much traffic? No, it's not that area. No. Okay, um, so you could describe where you were parked. Right off uh, Wilton Road, which is 101, there's a dirt pull off just east of uh, Granite Street. Well into the 30 mile an hour zone, uh, off to the sit there. Okay. All the time, so. and, and you say it's a 30 mile an hour zone? Yeah, it's clearly How do you know that? Clearly close. Yeah. Clearly. Okay. And from where you're sitting, <coughs> what, what is the speed limit before that? Before uh, heading eastbound? If you were heading eastbound, yeah. 
So where she was coming from? Yep. Yes. Where I'm sitting was 30, and where uh, before that is 40. Okay. Okay. So what did you do? I uh, activated my. Uh, I pulled out, activated my emergency blue lights, and I subsequently stopped the vehicle on uh, Dublin Road by Hatch, Dublin Road Council. Okay. Do you remember what kind of vehicle that was? Yeah, it's a white. I'm sorry, again, where did you, uh, where did you stop that? I stopped the vehicle after the intersection where the lights are, uh, Dublin Road by Hatch. Okay. That's a safe spot. But, uh, and did you make contact with the driver? I did. And did you, were you able to identify him? Yeah. I was. And how was that? I have a license. Okay. Did you have a conversation with him? I did. Okay. Could you, do you see her in the courtroom today? I do. Well, that's the uh, court take notice that, uh, could you point her out and describe her to uh, it's the lady sitting at the table next to the gentleman. Yeah. Okay, what's she wearing? Uh, it's a black sweatshirt, I believe, with glasses. Okay, that's good to take notice that the uh, officer Sanaka said they identified Mr. Lyman. Yes, it did. Okay, and who, uh, who, who was she when you said the license? Uh, Renee. Okay, and so what did you do then? I uh, explained the reason for the stop. <coughs> Asked her if she knew the speed limit or how fast she was going. She stated that uh, she thought the speed limit was 40 and she thought that she was going 40. Okay. She knew when, what did you tell her? Nah, I said, that's right. The speed limit's 30, she was going 50. Okay. Yeah, so what did you do then? Uh, she explained that she was coming back from uh, Ranch Vegas and her home, uh, returned to my cruiser, uh, wrote a summons, I wrote the summons, I cut her a break. She was going 54 and a 30. I, I dropped it down to 50 and a 30. I ordered a summons for 103.33 instead of the full 206.67 fine that would have been. Okay. And did you uh, explain the summons to her? I did. Okay, nothing further at this time. Mr. Bain, do you have any questions you'd like to ask the officer here? I do. <clears throat> so, can you repeat how you knew it was that I was allegedly speeding? What's up? Can you repeat how you knew I was allegedly speeding? You said you said radar, right? Yes, ma'am. So was it was it a clocked radar? Like you clocked it? I don't understand. You you clock radar, right? Like you can clock it 34 miles per hour. 34? Uh, what were just, you using to determine the speed, uh, Mr. Uh, officer? The stationary radar that's in the it wasn't a radar gun or anything, it was just a radar gun. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with uh, police equipment. Uh, so how do you know it was fully accurate? I tested it in the morning. It was like 20 All right. And uh, was, I driving, was I driving erratically or unsafely? You were speeding. <clears throat> Were there, were there any complaints prior? Did somebody call on a complaint about my alleged speeding? About your driving? I'm sorry? About your speeding? Yes. You're asking if another person called a complaint? Yes. Not that we were on the road. So there, were, so there was just about nobody else on the road? No other traffic, really? I don't know if there's no other. In the area that we were, no, there was, you were the only traffic. Right. So that being said, did I hurt anybody? What's that? Did I hurt anybody with my vehicle? Not that I'm aware of. So, <coughs> who is the alleged victim? Have I caused a victim here today? Repeat the question. Have I caused a victim here today? Have you caused a victim? Yes. If I've not hurt anybody, then there is no victim. So how exactly have I, have I committed a crime here? You were speeding. Is that, is that... All right. about the radar. Um, 
was it properly calibrated? Did you ask me if I tested it in the performance shift? That's calibration, right? Yeah, I, t I tested it internally in both ends. When was the device last? Is there an external third party calibration? Dropping the uh, the original speed down for a uh, for a lower fine, but why not just the warning? I have discretion. I believe it had a big enough break as it was. No further questions. All set. Go ahead. No. You want further? Two things, John. Go ahead. Okay. Let me approach. Yes. Take a look at that document. It's the document you just read to you. Yeah. And you see, is that radar been calibrated by an external third party? No, third party. Uh, this radar was calibrated for pure PD on January, excuse me, January 15, 2014. The calibration expires January 31st. And, and the reason why, is it the reason why you check the calibration every day to make sure there's nothing wrong with it? That's Okay, and on that day, was the calibration fine? You did your checks. Just functioning normally and properly my check. Okay. Your Honor, I would ask that be entered as exhibit one. Is there any objection, Mr. Blank? No. Okay, anything else, uh, Sergeant? Uh, nothing further, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Blank, any other questions? I do have one more question. Do you remember me? saying to you that I did not believe that I was going over 50 miles per hour? Do I remember that? Yes. I don't remember that. <laughs> well, I think, Officer, your testimony a minute ago was that you said that uh, Ms. LeBlanc thought she was going about 40 miles an hour. That's and what That's what the speed limit was. Yeah. Is that what you were getting at, Mr. Blank? Pretty much, and it does mention in these notes that he wrote uh, the report of action on the case. <clears throat> yeah. So. Any other questions? <clears throat> no further questions. Thank you, officer. Sergeant, any other evidence the state wants to introduce you? Stay rest.
given these circumstances. Uh, I'm going to give more credibility in all cases to calibrated radar equipment than I am to people's own feelings about what their speed was or what their own speedometer may say at the time. And it does appear that the uh, officer has given you uh, uh, some consideration in this um, that would cut the speed uh, of the fine basically in half from what it would ordinarily be. So I'll impose a fine totaling 103.33 altogether, which includes the penalty assessment. Are you able to pay that today? No. Um, is there any way we could reach a compromise on this? Well, I'm afraid the time for doing that has come and gone. So uh, the court's not in the business of negotiating the, the amount of the, of the fine. Are you, uh, when, when are you going to be able to pay the fine? Um, well, if if I must pay a fine, I would be interesting. I would be interested in doing community service to pay that fine, or I would also <clears throat> I would also propose that this could go on file. Well, I'm not going to place it on file. I try to deal with these consistently with people here, um, and I'm going to impose the, the fine that is indicated on the summons, given the consideration the officers already given you. <coughs> Are you working? Yes. Um, yes. And community service is completely out of the question, is what you're saying? If you're working, yes, it is. Okay. Then may I have 60 days? I can give you two weeks. Today's the um, 29th. I'll give you until Tuesday, the 14th of October. Downstairs, if you would, Mr. So Blank at the clerk's office, and we'll see you there. <coughs> Training was a training on motor vehicle. Yeah. Awesome. 
in enforcement? Yes. Okay. In the part-time academy, did you, were you trained on the use of radar? I was. Okay. And were you certified? Part-time and then the full-time academy. Okay. So you've been certified two different occasions? I have. Okay. Uh, thinking back to May 26th, uh, 20, 2014, uh, <coughs> approximately 1.30, 1.39 in the uh, evening in the morning, uh, you work for Pedro PD? I was. Were you in uniform? I was. Were you in a mock cruiser? Yes, I was. Um, okay. At about that time, anything out of the ordinary happened? I was conducting stationary radar on, uh, off of Wilton Road, just east of Granite on a pull up. Okay, what road is that? That's Route 101 in Pedro. Okay, also known as? Wilton Road. Okay. We ask the uh, court to take notice. You should notice that uh, Route 101 also known as Wilton Road is away. Before you start your shifts, are you running radar, you said? That's correct. Okay, what do you do? Is there anything you do as a normal course of conduct before your shift, during your shift? There is. Regards the radar? There is. What is that? It's to check the radar. And how do, you, how do you do that? Internally and using the tuning forks to provide an each group. Okay, and did you do that in the Sydney? I did. Okay, and how was the radar working? It was functioning normally and properly. Okay, and which, uh, which radar were you using? It was 1A. So that would be which car? Cruiser number 1. Okay. All right, so taking you back to about that time, what happened? I was uh, conducting stationary radar, uh, noticed the vehicle traveling uh, westbound on 101, mm -hmm. uh, and passing it at a speed of uh, 54 miles an hour passing at that time. Okay, and, and how do you know that speed? Uh, by my radar. Okay, and did you have clear tone? Clear tone, clear audio, clear visual. Was there, was there any other vehicles in the side picture of the radar? There wasn't. Okay. Obviously late at night. It was. Not much traffic. No, it's not that area. No. Okay. Um, so you can describe where you were parked. Right off uh, Wilton Road, which is 101, there's a dirt pull off just east of uh, Granite Street, uh, well into the 30 mile an hour zone, uh, off to the city. Okay. All the time, so. and, and you say it's a 30 mile an hour zone? Yeah, it's clearly. How do you know that? Clearly posted. Yeah. Clearly. Posted. Okay. And from where you're sitting, what, what is the speed limit before that? Before uh, heading eastbound. If you were heading eastbound, yep. so where she was coming from? Yep. Okay. It's where I was sitting was 30, and where uh, before that is 40. Okay. Okay, so what did you do? I uh, activated my, uh, I pulled out, activated my emergency blue lights, and I subsequently stopped the vehicle on uh, Dublin Road by Hatch. Dublin Road, North Okay, do okay. you remember what kind of vehicle that was? Yeah, it's a white uh, Honda Watch, I believe. I'm sorry, again, where did you, uh, where did you stop that? I stopped the vehicle after the intersection where the lights are, uh, Dublin Road by Hatch. Okay. That's a safe spot. But, uh, did you make contact with the driver? I did. And did you, were you able to identify him? Yeah. I was. And how was that? I have a license. Okay. Did you have a conversation with him? I did. Okay. Could you, do you see her in the courtroom today? I do. Well, that's the uh, court take notice that, uh, well, could you point her out and describe her? Uh, it's the lady sitting at the table next to the gentleman. Yeah. Okay, what's she wearing? Uh, it's a black sweatshirt, I believe, with glasses. Okay, that's the court to take notice that uh, Officer Sanaka said they identified Mr. Lyman. Yes, it was. Okay, and who, uh, who, who was she? You said the license. Uh, Renee. Okay. And so what did you do? Yeah. Uh, I explained the reason for the stop <coughs> and uh, asked her if she knew the speed limit or how fast she was going. She stated that uh, she thought the speed limit was 40 and she thought that she was going 40. Okay. She knew what did you tell her? Uh, I said that's right. The speed limit was 30 and she was going 50. Okay. Yeah. So what did you do then? Uh, she explained that she was coming back from uh, Ranch Vegas and her home. Turned to my cruiser, uh, wrote a summons, I wrote the summons, I cut her a break. Um, she was going 54 and a 30, I, I dropped it down to 50 and a 30, and wrote her a summons for 103.33 instead of the full $206.67 fine that would have been. Okay. And did you uh, explain the summons to her? I did. Okay, nothing further at this time.
Ms. LeBlanc, do you have any questions you'd like to ask the officer here? I do. <clears throat> so, can you repeat how you knew it was that I was allegedly speeding? What's that? Can you repeat how you knew I was allegedly speeding? You said you said radar, right? That's correct. So was it was it a clocked radar? Like you clocked it? I don't understand. You you clock radar, right? Like you can clock it thirty four miles per hour. Thirty four? Uh, no, what were just, you using to determine the speed, uh, Mr. Uh, officer? The stationary radar that's in the cruiser. It wasn't a radar gun or anything. It was the radar. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with uh, police equipment. Uh, so how do you know it was fully accurate? I tested it in the morning. It was like 20 All right. And uh, was I driving? Was I driving erratically or unsafely? You were speeding. <clears throat> were there Were there any complaints prior? Did somebody call on a complaint about my alleged speeding? Well, you're driving? I'm sorry? About your speeding? Yes. You're asking if another person called and complained? Yes. Not that I'm aware of. So there, were, so there was just about nobody else on the road? No other traffic, really? I don't know if there's no other. In the area that we were in, no, there was, you were the only path. Right. So that being said, did I hurt anybody? What's that? Did I hurt anybody with my vehicle? Not that I'm aware of. So, <sighs> who is the alleged victim? Have I caused a victim here today? Repeat the question. Have I caused a victim here today? Have you caused a victim? Yes. If I've not hurt anybody, then there is no victim. So how exactly have I, have I committed a crime here? You were speeding. Is that, is that... All right. about the radar. Um, was it properly calibrated? Are you asking if I tested it in the former shift? That's calibration, right? Yeah, I, I tested it internally in both tests. When was the device last? Is there an external third party calibration? Dropping the uh, the original speed down for a uh, for a lower fine, but why not just a warning? I have discretion. I believe it had a big enough break as it was. No further questions. All set. Go ahead. 
No. Do you want for it? Two, two things, Your Honor. Go ahead. Okay. So may I approach? Yes. Take a look at that document. It's the document you just read to you. Yeah. And you see, is that radar been calibrated by the actually third party? No, third party. Uh, this radar was calibrated for pure PD on January, excuse me, January 15, 2014. The calibration expires January 31st. And, and the reason why, is it the reason why you check the calibration every day to make sure there's nothing wrong with it? That's correct. Okay, and on that day, was the calibration fine when you did your checks? It's functionally normally and properly when I checked. Okay. Your Honor, we'd ask that be entered as exhibit one. Any objection, Mr. Blank? No. Okay, anything else, uh, uh Nothing further, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Blank, any other questions? I do have one more question. Do you remember me saying to you that I did not believe that I was going over 50 miles per hour? Do I remember that? Yes. I don't know. Circumstances. Uh, I'm going to give more credibility in all cases to calibrated radar equipment than I am to people's own feelings about what their speed was or what their own speedometer may say at the time. And it does appear that the uh, officer has given you uh, uh, some consideration in this um, that would cut the speed uh, of the fine basically in half from what it would ordinarily be. So I'll impose a fine totaling 103.33 altogether, which includes the penalty assessment. Are you able to pay that today? No. Um, is there any way we could reach a compromise on this? Well, I'm afraid the time for doing that has come and gone. So uh, the court's not in the business of negotiating the, the amount of the, of the fine. Are you, uh, when, when are you going to be able to pay the fine? Um, well, if if I must pay a fine, I would be interesting. I would be interested in doing community service to pay that fine, or I would also <clears throat> I would also propose that this could go on file. Well, I'm not going to place it on file. I try to deal with these consistently with people here, um, and I'm going to impose the, the fine that is indicated on the summons, given the consideration the officers already given you. <clears throat> Are you working? Yes. Um, yes. And community service is completely out of the question, is what you're saying? If you're working, yes it is. Okay. Then may I have 60 days? I can give you two weeks. Today's the um, 29th. I'll give you until Tuesday, the 14th of October. Downstairs, if you would, Mr. So Blank at the clerk's office, and we'll see you there. <coughs>
calibration that you need to do. Thank you, Your Honor. How do you think it went? That didn't go very well. <laughs> um, I tried to negotiate, um, asked her to go on file. I knew I was going to be found guilty. Pretty obvious, but uh, I was going to ask her to go on file, bargain for community service, even suspension of the fine on good behavior, but he was just not having it. I think, I think he knew. Anything you would have done differently? I had no idea what I was doing in the first place, so good enough. So good what, enough for a first time. What will you do differently next time? More research. Just give him more trouble. Uh, maybe file for additional discovery because it would have been nice to know that they had that up their sleeve. Also, one more thing that I want to point out. I got this in my discovery that I mentioned. What is that? This is the. This is what the cop wrote in his testimony. Report of action on case. Does this look legible? This is not legible. It even says not legible. No, I wrote not legible. All right. Thanks. Anything else? Not really. No. Okay.